So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do that trick where you disappear. Now first of all, you want to get your camera on a tripod or in a static position. And then here you want to film three clips. You want to film yourself walking into the shop and then jumping. And then you want to get the clip of the clothes just dropping. Now the way I did this was I used some tape. And what I did was I took my pants off and the top off that I was wearing in the clip and taped them together. And then if you lift it up, all the clothes should be stuck together. And then all you have to do here is just drop the clothing and make sure you're moving out of the way very quickly. Just because you don't want any shades or you don't want your hands in there. One thing I would say is don't shoot in daylight where there's shadows and stuff. Because if you're an idiot like me, in the daylight, the lighting moves because time is a thing. Wow. So I didn't realise when I was shooting it the shadows were going to be an issue. And there was a little bit so I had to do a little bit of fading in, fading out a lot of different masks. Back to what I was on about, so the third clip is going to be, or oh, it depends what your scenario is, but mine's a countdown, it's a bit like hide and seek, and then he realises the guy's not there, so my third clip is coming in and he's realising, oh, the clothes are there of the guy, but where's the actual guy? So that's the three clips that I got when I was shooting this. Now, going into the editing suite, you want to bring all your clips into one, so I want my first clip of wearing, walking into the shot and jumping, and as I've just landed, I want to then bring the clip of me letting go of the clothes and the clothes falling. So I want to bring that on top of that clip. And then the third clip where the other character is walking into the shop. Now all you want to do with this is mask out the part where you're letting go of the clothes. That's the only part that you have to mask out. And all you have to do is just mask out the actual clothing parts and always be aware of your shadows. Like I said, I shot it throughout the day. So the shadows change literally within 10 minutes of me changing and getting different clothes on so just bear that in mind when you are shooting so for me it was a little bit of tweak and a little bit of this little bit of that so if you did do it where it's just one lighting it would be just keying out the subject and that's it simple as that so once you keyed out your subject play it through make sure it looks fine and, and okay perfect and then what you want to do now is just go to the last clip and see if there's any different movements with me the shades was an issue so what I did was I just zoomed in a few stuff and moved a little bit and tweaked it now I'm not going to go over that just because it's kind of like self-explanatory of that part. To sell the effect even more, you want to add a little bit of smoke or you want to add something to, to make it feel more real. So I just got some smoke effect that you could get on YouTube for free, downloaded it and just put that over top. And then from here, I just brought the opacity down to 70, put it onto screen, position it where the clothing is, fade it in and then fade it out and it makes it look 10 times better. Also another way to sell this effect is sound effects. Now I use Epidemic Sound for my stuff but there's a lot of effects on YouTube that you can probably get to sell the effect even more. And that's about it for this video. It's a very simple but effective and creative idea. Now you could do this for many different things. I've just done it for TikTok and my social medias just to have something funny to, to post. Um, but you could probably do this in a short film or something that you could add this into a storyline. That's it for this video. I hope you like comment, subscribe, comment, share, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys next time.